This is Elliot Haspel, and welcome to another edition of Best Practices Weekly. Today we're going to be talking about using a student-friendly rubric to help students write about math. And this comes from an article in Teaching Children Mathematics, where a classroom teacher and a university researcher write up the idea of how we can use these rubrics to really help students improve their math thinking and their ability to communicate what they're doing in math. And this teacher taught third grade, and what the teacher and the researcher did together was they adapted a rubric from the Illinois State uh, Board of Education, which you can download off of the full article write-up on the website. And they adapted it to make it even more student-friendly than it already was by adding things like taking out pronouns like it and making it say the problem, similar things like that to make it much easier for students to really understand what the rubric was talking about. And then this was a five-point rubric, so one to five, and it was focused on three main areas. Both the understanding of the actual math concepts, planning and using strategies to solve problems, and then explaining math actions and thinking with writing. And so um, the rubric focused on those three strands. And what the teacher did to really get her students familiar with how to use the rubric, she took a series of actions. First, she just graded some student work using the rubric and handed it back to them so they could see this is why I scored this on each of the three different dimensions. Then the class used the rubric to, as a class, score some sample student work. So really get their hands on if this is what you were the teacher and you were grading this, what would you give it on each of these three dimensions? What score would it get and why? Really get them very familiar with it. And then there were individual conferences between the teacher and the students where they would look over their work and talk about it, asking very rubric specific questions. And now, to do kind of an action research aspect of this, what the teacher did was she gave the students one word problem per week for five weeks, and then she specifically tracked one student that was representing sort of the above average group in her class, one student that was representative of the average group, and one student that was representative of the below average group. And what she found was some interesting things. First of all, all of them improved in a lot of different areas. Most specifically, they really improved in their ability to communicate about what they were doing in math, both in writing, in terms of using specific vocabulary terms. They were also able to, to sort of identify what strategies made sense and what strategies wouldn't make sense. What she did find was that lower ability students, both the average and below average student, they needed longer to really get familiar with the rubric and to really start showing improvement in their work. In the case of the below average student, it took all five weeks to really see some significant improvement. But what the teacher found was that of all of these things, the individual conferences actually with the students were the single most useful piece of getting them familiar with using the rubric and getting them to really orient their math thinking in terms of how they were writing about it. So those individual conferences where teachers could ask them specific questions you know, about the rubric, what do you think you would have gotten on the rubric here with regards to uh, you, you choosing a strategy and why and what would you need to do to improve to the next level? Those sorts of very specific questions while looking at individual students' work were the single uh, sort of greatest impact of strategy that the teacher was able to use with especially those average and below average students. Um, but ultimately, being able to really use a rubric so students are very clear about what it means to write about math really help their ability to both do that and then also to think about math, not only write about it. So thanks for watching and happy teaching.